can never pronounce this back correctly. Ki, Kui, K. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayi. and this is The Daily Shayi. On this channel, my goal is to help you look good and feel seen. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Brandon Blackwood collection. Now it's only five bags in this collection, but I will say more than two constitutes a collection, okay? My first introduction to Brandon Blackwood was a few years ago, and I love that I've been able to support the brand ever since. On top of that, it is a black owned brand. So even better as we head into Black History Month, if you'd like to see my five Brandon Blackwood bag is then just continue watching. Like I said, I was introduced to the brand a couple years ago and I'm trying to remember the year exactly, but I really cannot. But my first introduction was with this bag right here and it is their end systemic racism bag. If you're a Brandon Blackwood fan, you would know that this was a couple years ago and I do not think I think he like re-released these sometime last year and then I don't think they're releasing anymore. I think that's it. So this was actually gifted to me by my friend Lily. I have kept this bag ever since because of the sentimental value behind it, honestly. And also it's a neutral bag. So any moment that requires a neutral purse, this will always come in handy. I do feel like it's a nice casual bag that you can just kind of quickly pick up and go. And it does also have like the crossbody strap, which is very convenient. It's still one of my favorite bags to date because of the message behind it, but also just the color and and also the sentimental value. I did have another in systemic racism bag that is not gonna be included in this video because I just gave it away. It was their baby blue satin version of the bag. I'll try to insert it here because I did wear it to 2022 New York Fashion Week in September and it went with my outfit. It was given baby shower, it was given a gender reveal. But yeah, I recently just gave it away because I was not wearing that bag at all outside of that moment that I wore it. And I think I've worn it one other time but i'm not wearing baby blue like it's just not something that's abundant in my closet it's not something that i wear often i actually don't really wear a lot of blues at all so it was one of those things where i was like it's time for you to go so i guess i technically had six but we're down to five next one that i ended up buying was basically a similar bag it is their qui i can never pronounce this bag correctly key qui k <laughs> one of those <laughs> this is also another one of my favorites because of the color to me this is a perfect chocolate brown like this is perfect i do love that it actually has silver hardware i feel like the silver actually pops a little bit more on this sort of chocolate shade and i actually do believe this is more of a cool tone brown so it makes sense that they went with the silver hardware this also has a crossbody which you know again i love i've worn it a number of times this is one that i find myself grabbing a lot again when i really want to wear the color brown a little up close action i love the kind of croc effect detailing going on there's a top handle it has like the bottom feet as they will call them on the inside i believe it has yeah a little you know side slot to add some cards and whatnot and then it's just like a catch-all in the middle so a cute little mini tote number two mrs Quee key quay <laughs> This is number three, I think. I don't know if I purchased this one next or I purchased another one, Miss Nia. And as soon as I saw that he was releasing it, I was just like, yep, gonna get that, yep. It's, it's immediate. I need that in my closet and I'm so happy I did. It comes in a variety of colors. I know a lot of them are pretty sold out right now. I'm glad I got this one when I did because I actually don't know if this one is being sold anymore. I tried to look it up and see it on the website and i was not seeing this one with the black and the gold hardware i don't even know if i was seeing the one with the silver hardware now that i think about it i did a whole tiktok about it comparing first of all showing this bag but also comparing this bag to um, my coach tabby like my original coach tabby because i thought that they were actually pretty similar you know what people in the comments they're like yeah but this bag just kind of looks a little bit more luxe and i have to say it does mainly because of the kind of leather that they used on this one like i don't know where they got this one from but it's nice this is the one i actually find myself grabbing a lot I would even say the most when I'm sort of just like running errands and I do not want to wear a fanny pack for a number of reasons. Number one being, do y'all see how big this part is? Like this kind of shoulder to armpit ratio, I will call it. Like, look how big that is. Look how much space I have. This strap is extremely inclusive and it does also come with a crossbody strap, which is convenient, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't really find myself wearing this crossbody strap as often because I'm a shoulder back girl. <laughs> That's the reason. Another thing I really like about this bag is the gold hardware. I feel like this is a really nice kind of muted gold. I think it's pretty yellow. I feel like it's not like jarring. You guys know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. There's some luxury bags where the gold is just like, why did y'all choose that? that kind of version of the gold to go with this bag and a lot of my jewelry like a lot 
of my jewelry actually is like this kind of gold literally what i'm wearing right now also i love these little cute little strap thingies i think it's a cute little detail they didn't have to do that but they did and that's cute you see that right there and the inside is a good like amount of space i would say it's like a catch-all and then there's like a little side what do you call this side flap situation to also slide some cards in there a good amount of stuff does fit in here but like once you put everything in and you try to fit your phone that's gonna be kind of hard She's a good one. She's a good one. Brandon, y'all did y'all think with this one? So this is number four. I have a feeling that I bought this one after I bought the Nia bag. And we have the Crystal Seal. Mm. <laughs> I love this bag. As soon as, as soon as he said that he was releasing it, immediately I was like, I gotta get it. It was like during springtime. And so I think it was 2022. Yeah, it was 2022. And immediately I was just like, I obviously gotta go with the green, spring green, like it makes sense. And also when I do wear green, I do like this kind of shade of green. Like it's kind of muted, but it's not like foresty, but it still has like, it can go with like browns and neutrals. You see what you see the vibe, but it still works for like, you know, bright colorful looks. It's such a cute bag. I mean, clearly it's a crystal bag, okay? So there's crystals all around it, crystals all around it. It has this nice little Brandon Blackwood tag. I'm just realizing that this can come off. This whole time I had no idea this would come off. Okay, cute, but I'm gonna keep it on because I like that it says Brandon Blackwood. This also has silver hardware. I believe all of the seal bags have silver hardware. My friend has the purple, kind of purple gray version of this. And I think that's really a stunning bag. I wore that one in New York because the outfit that I was wearing for one of my New York outfits was like purple. It was like lilac and like a deep purple. And that bag was the only bag that complimented that outfit. And that worked with it very well, but it also just works with an all black outfit. It's a really cute color. Same kind of like catch all situation. And there is a zipper side pocket or whatever they call it. I don't know what they call these side pockets i literally did not take off the wrapping on this there is still wrapping on here i have to take that off later i feel like this is like his signature what would you call this like a signature knot because to me this is the exact same knot as the nia bag that's on the side of it but i love this bag she's a stunner i'm never getting rid of this one ever i'm gonna have to snatch it out of my i don't want to say dead because i'm not dying in jesus name but i ain't never giving this one up ever so and then finally this may be my ultimate favorite bag of all time when i first saw this bag it was at the same time that the nia bag dropped i fumbled the bag because i added it to my cart i didn't check out in time and guess who got it somebody else and i kept telling myself i need this bag to come back in stock and my prayers were answered because the bag came back in stock miss jasmine i love this bag the shape of it I love. It's kind of reminiscent of the Fendi Peekaboo, I would say. This to me is a great alternative. These have not come back in stock because guess who decided they wanted the red one? <laughs> and I'm doing a no buy for the first three months. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta hold out. But maybe he'll bring it back in April and I can get it in April. Now this leather is kind of different from the Nia bag leather. This one is like a more oil leather. I think that's what they called it. It's more shiny and a little bit more, like there's a little bit of crinkliness going on. Same kind of gold detail and gold hardware. Same with the Nia bag. The bag also has feet and this kind of like cute little detail right here. And again, it's one of those things that this is literally not functional. Like, what is this, a keychain? Oh, it's a keychain. Y'all, I had no idea this was a keychain. <laughs> so it is functional. It's literally a keychain. It's kind of covered in this little leather tab, but you pull it and it's a freaking keychain. This bag is a great like catch all as well. I can just throw everything in there and it pretty much fits in there what i got in there nothing personal right no nothing personal okay it does have like a side pocket as well it doesn't have a zipper you just kind of slide everything in there and then the clasp you just kind of push it in with the b and then you push it down like look at this shape but i usually wear it like this i don't know i like kind of like just wearing it open i mean it stays close to me so nobody's going in my bag if i'm in a busy spot i will close it but if not i'm gonna just wear it as is i have stuff in here because i actually wore it today and then we have the crossbody strap and this is actually a crossbody that i do wear as a crossbody i keep this on the bag for the most part all the time because i am always kind of wearing it like this i don't know what it is this bag makes sense as a crossbody i feel like it just looks really good as a crossbody but it also just works really well like a top handle i mean it's just really cute and it's sturdy enough where this top handle is definitely holding the weight of this entire bag it has these kind of like grommets i don't know if that's what they're called but these little things right here that i think is helping to balance out the weight of this bag so even though it's only one top handle it's not like pulling against the actual body of the bag i've worn this bag everywhere i've worn it even to disneyland like this is 
why it's one of my favorites because it makes every outfit work it can work casually it can work you know dressed up it just it just works and that was my final brandon blackwood purchase i have not purchased anything but i will say all these bags have served their purpose and do serve a specific purpose okay thanks y'all so much for watching this video i hope that you found it entertaining some of these bags may come back and stop so i'll just say go to their website put your notifications on because he also sends like little discount codes and things to people who are like in the insider club so if you want to you know be a part of that and get some discount codes every now and then i would definitely say sign up once he stocks something the stuff sells out the girls are loving the bags shout out to brandon and shout out to y'all for watching this full video thank you so much and i will catch y'all in my next one until next time bye <music>